Welcome to the premiere of season seven of the Pro-Am Golf Show. I'm Meg Morrison alongside my wonderful co-host who decided to make himself relevant once again in 2019 by rejoining the world of curling, Mark Kennedy. Yes, this is true. <laughs> thank you for having me again for another season. Yeah, thanks but for you coming you have decided to upstage my big curling news by announcing some pretty exciting news of your own. Uh, I did, yeah. You're expecting! I am. Yeah. I just announced it for you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Question is, how's that going to affect your golf swing? I think it helps because you really have to follow through. The momentum makes you follow through, right? Ah, I have a feeling I'm going to be winning a few shows this year. Yeah, we'll see. But let's do it. We're kicking off this season at an old reclaimed coal mine, the Coal Creek Golf Resort. Developed in 2012, this distinctive 18-hole golf course is located just 45 minutes outside of Edmonton in Riley, Alberta. The Coal Creek Golf Resort is a puttycomb championship link style course that is a must stop on the Pro-Am Golf Show Tour. The course features dramatic elevation changes and well-placed specialty black sand bunkers. The resort also features an RV park, making it a great place to spend the summer. Our guest today had a long career in the NHL spanning from 1987 to 2001. Former Edmonton Oiler and long-standing member in the community of Edmonton, defenseman Chris Joseph! Chris, welcome to the show. I know that you do a ton of different hockey games throughout the winter, and you probably do a ton of different charity golf tournaments as well in the summer. How's your game? Um, not great. I can hit the ball far. I don't know any, I don't have any idea where it's going, but uh, yeah. Oh, you'll we'll see gonna, how it goes. You're going to fit right in. <laughs> yeah. This is perfect. Okay, we're going to get right to it. We're going to head out to number 14 here at Coal Creek and meet up with head golf professional Jerry Lukasiewicz. All right, who is your favorite player to ever play with? Um, Mary Lemieux. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good one. You've played for a lot of teams over the span of your career. I want you to name as fast as you can all of them, including WHL. Okay. In the NHL, Edmonton, Tampa, Pittsburgh, Phoenix, Atlanta, Vancouver, Philadelphia. In the minors, Cincinnati Cyclones, uh, Cape Breton Oilers, Nova Scotia Oilers, Philadelphia Phantoms and in the Western Hockey League, Seattle Thunderbirds. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's okay. impressive. Uh, what was your favorite arena to play in? Uh, the Montreal Forum. Why? Uh, it had a feel. You walk in and it was uh, the, it felt like it was freshly painted, red seats. Uh, just You look up, only Stanley Cup banners, 24 of them. Incredible place, just so much history. Which place had the best food? Oh, Chicago deep dish pizza was pretty <laughs> awesome. Um, Montreal Forum, the little hot dogs that Chien showed, they were awesome. Um, that's, yeah. Awesome. And uh, how often do you get confused with Curtis Joseph? Every damn day. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> brutal. All the time. Okay, final question. Who's winning the show today? Uh, not me. That's I don't a know. safe answer. You know, you got to take ownership. It's, yeah. We're a little cocky on this show, so. Are you? Yeah, you have to own it right now. Okay, me. Good answer. I'm winning. Let's do this. The pro tip brought to you by Energy Crane, specializing in hoisting, rigging, and transportation services. We're here on number 14 at Coal Creek with Jerry. Jerry, what do you have for us? Well, today, Meg, we're going to hit a, uh, a greenside sound shot uh, out of one of the many uh, black sand traps that we have here at Coal Creek. So to hit this shot, what you're going to do is um, you're going to open up your stance initially, first of all. So if I, my target is there, I'm going to actually aim to the left of the target. Okay. My ball position is going to be anywhere from the middle and slightly forward of that. Okay. I'm going to lean my, my weight a little bit onto my front side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try and hit about an inch behind the ball and two inches underneath the ball. So if you can think about that, and then you're gonna follow through and making sure you, you make a nice aggressive stroke. So here's how you do it. Oh, that looks so nice with that Sit. sand. Good shot. Very nice. Good job. Do you want a tee for that, Mark? <laughs> it seems oh, really propped up me. there. You see what Jerry did there? He dug his heels in. Yeah, he looked better doing it though. Go! Ooh, that Go. looks pretty good. good. Go! Okay. All right, you've got your target. Oh, that was smooth. That's going to work. Very Great nice, shot. Chris. I'm on the green, I'm happy. Awesome. Oh, yeah. 
First okay. pressure shot of the season. Yeah, out of the sand for the first shot. I like it. It's got to go. Nice. I've gotten really good at putting over the off season, I so I am good to go. We're going to take a quick break. We'll come back and finish out the first hole here on the Pro-Am Golf Show. From a start of 22 carts in 1997 to becoming Western Canada's largest club car dealer, you know you're in good hands with the golf cart people. Whether it's on the course, at the lake, or just for the fun of it, the golf cart people are equipped to meet your needs. From sales, service, parts, customized accessories, and rentals. We'll suit you up with a newer used cart or go the extra mile in a fully customized beauty sure to turn heads. The golf cart people, driving the future. A family-run business looking out for your best interest. That's what the Black Dirt Company has created. A business built on customer care, relationships, respect, and high performance. The Black Dirt Company will assist you and inspire you in the brand new Product Discovery Center. We know landscaping can be a lot of work. Let us carry the load. Visit us in Spruce Grove, south of the tracks. Our dirt is your dirt at blackdirtcompany.com. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show. We're here at the Coal Creek Golf Resort with longtime NHL defenseman, Curtis Joseph. I mean, Chris Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like I'm that? too used to that. <laughs> it Sorry, doesn't even I had phase to that. now. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, we have hit our sand shots. It's now time to get to the putting. This is the rest of the first hole. It's brought to you by Bablitz Wealth Management. Got yourself a long distance putt. Yeah, but look at these greens. They're so nice. Yeah, good, yeah, beautiful. I've got this all day. Three putt territory. Yeah. A few, bit, a few bends and hills. Oh, does it ever look good? Nice. Get out of here. What? Get out of here. <laughs> nice shot. I told you all winter. That I've been was practicing awesome. that putt. So Chris, you played in the Edmonton Oilers organization from 1987 to 1994, but you don't have a Stanley Cup. Tell us a little bit about that stretch of your career and, and what it was like and, and why you don't have a ring. Well, okay, so I was with the team for two of the cups, but both years I was in the minors and I was called up for the playoff run. And, and the rule was you needed to be on the roster for half the season or one game in the final series, and I didn't qualify for that. Oh, so your career actually touched three decades. You had a long career. What's the key to that kind of longevity? Uh, I stayed out of corners. No. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just. I stayed healthy, that's a big thing. Um, I didn't play a real physical game. My game was more finesse, so that helped. And uh, I was a decent skater, so that helped. Um, so I don't know, I think health mostly is the big thing. So you told us earlier that your favorite player to ever play with was Mario Lemieux. What was it about him that made him so special and that you enjoyed so much? Well, I should have included Wayne in that as well. I always thought that Wayne and Mario were in a league of their own. And I played with Francis and Yager and uh, Lindros. I played a lot of great players. But there was something special about those two guys that uh, put them in a league of their own. And I remember Mario saying that he felt like his blade felt like an extension of his hand. And I thought, I've never felt that way. And I'm in the NHL too. And, you know, and uh, Wayne Gretzky, he had, uh, he had vision. And, and people say, well, could he play in today's game? And I said, absolutely, he could play in today's game because his vision was something that it doesn't, it didn't matter. He wasn't fast. He wasn't, um, wasn't strong. He didn't have a great shot. He had vision. And that's something that can relate to today's game. Um, but those two guys for sure, Mario and Wayne, there was no question that they were the best in my era, and I would argue probably the best in any era. We'll see if your golf club is an extension yeah. of your arms yeah, today. Doubtful. Let's get back to the golf. Somewhat gave you the line there. What a way to start the season. Yeah, thank nice you. Putt. Nice putt. Looks good. Go! Oh. Close. Somebody uh, else learned how to putt too. No, Good I job. still suck. This is for the win. This is to win the we'll first see. hole of the season. Yeah. 
uphill. Make his name as the oh, defenseman it, Chris made Joseph. Made it, Seriously? Made it. Made it. All right. What a putt. <laughs> Nicely done. You can't call him Curtis anymore now. No, I can't. You fired him up. Yeah. Nice putt. Okay. He's got a one hole lead. We still have two more holes to go. We're going to take a quick break. We'll come back here on the Pro Am Golf Show. A warm welcome awaits you at the Glenmore Inn and Convention Center. We take pride in offering guests a choice from 169 spacious guest rooms and suites with amenities to please business and leisure travelers alike. Enjoy the superb on-site dining at the Garden Court Buffet with a wide variety of delightful dishes. And with the ability to host 1,200 people, we are the perfect spot for your next event, big or small. The Glenmore Inn and Convention Center, offering superior customer service. The Coal Creek Golf Resort is designed to amaze. Built on a reclaimed coal mine, black sand bunkers blanket the course while bodies of water mark the site of the original coal pits. The Coal Creek Golf Resort is just 40 minutes from Edmonton and well worth the drive to visit the place consistently rated the best breeds in the Edmonton area. Stay a while in the full service RV park with 50 amp power and city water. Visit ColeCreekGolfResort.com and come play through coal mining history. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show. We're here at the Coal Creek Golf Resort with Edmonton firefighter, Chris Joseph. Also former Edmonton Oiler, which is more so why we're having you on the show, but you are a firefighter now. Yes. How long have you been doing that for? Thir I'm in my 13th year. And I, I always figure like that's gotta be the most like a hockey team that you could find is getting that camaraderie with the guys in a fire hall. It is. I always tell people I just took the hockey dressing room and I moved it to the fire hall. So it's pretty good that way. I like that part of it. That's awesome. Okay, well, we have two more holes of golf to play. He is one up on us. Let's get to the second hole. It's brought to you by the Black Dirt Company. Create your backyard oasis. You pick up or they deliver. This is a beautiful hole. A lot of sand, but you're good. It's easy up okay, and down. Here we go. Don't be right. All right. Not Ooh. right. I'm left. Do I have the distance? Get up. No, Ooh. I'm in the sand. You're good from there, though. <laughs> well, it's a huge green mark, but it's huge narrow. Bunker. Huge bunker. <laughs> it is a huge That's bunker. That's all I can see, too, is the big black all bunker. It is a bunker. <laughs> Oh, that it almost fell over. You might Go. Be... Oh. Oh, that was, that'll be all right. Really ugly. That was a good miss. <laughs> that'll be good. I'll what take it. Like? At least you're not in the bunker. <laughs> well, Meg, the green is open for you. It is, and I'm going to give the RV park a nice show. But you think they're watching? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pro-Am <laughs> Golf Show, first episode of season seven. They're lined up. Oh yeah, that looks good. Mm. Little pull. Oh, perfect. Chris, Mark and I want to offer you our deepest condolences over everything that's happened to you over the past year and a bit now. It has been over a year since the Humboldt Broncos bus crash and your son tragically passed away in that. There has been a lot of good to come from that since though. So we wanted to just focus on the positives right now. And can you talk about some of the things that you were looking to get changed after that bus crash and what has happened since then? Um, some of the movement has been um, things like uh, the federal government has mandated seatbelts uh, coming into buses in 2020. So we're, that's a small change. And then for the truck driver training, it's been the Wild West here for a long time. And uh, you got different entities that are, are running good programs and bad programs. And we'd like to see it nationalized and standardized all across Canada because you can't, you know, take your driver training in the prairies in the summer and expect to haul logs across a Rogers Pass in the mountains of British Columbia. It's not the same thing. So we'd like to see that graduated and, and work on some of those things as well. So some positive changes, but I still think there's some room to grow. 
Now, when it comes to the other families that were involved in this tragedy, have you guys all managed to stay close and, and help support each other through such difficult times? That's been one of the, the best parts of this whole thing is that we've gained, uh, you know, 28 other families in our lives uh, that we didn't really know. When, you, when your boys play junior hockey, you don't really get to know the other families that much. We were fortunate that there were two other St. Albert families. There's a couple Edmonton families, a Stony Plain family. So, you know, we get together regularly now. We're there to support each other. and We actually feel bad for families that don't have a support network like we do. Uh, I can't imagine a family that has to go through something like this on their own. And we're very fortunate that we have each other. That's very well said. We have a lot more questions that we want to ask you. We're going to take a quick break from this and we're going to get back to the golf. Okay, let's good. try You know this. what this is, Chris? This is good product placement. All right. A nice chance to show off the Coal Creek Black Bunkers. And to show off your bunker skills. Oh, that looks good. Nice shot. Any predictions on this one for Mark? I think it's going to go well for him. Oh, I was going to say the opposite. I saw Black Sand Bunker. All over it. Oh, I think I'm right. He's got some backspin oh, on oh. it. Come on. Very nice. Very nice. I had to do something, or otherwise I was going to be out of the show already. Very good. Birdie putt for the win. I can feel it. I can feel it. Three putt. Oh, it looks heavy. Turn. For curling talk. I like Ooh. it. Way heavy. Way, Way heavy. <laughs> Way. That's pretty much a tap in. Is that a gimme? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Same distance as your last putt, and that was dead center. Oh, we can hope. This might be a little shorter, even. Good oh, stroke, come back. Oh, oh, I flew past, too. This must make pressure for the tie. Oh, nice. Come on. Yeah. Oh, nice. I'm not letting you win that easily. Nice. That was a good one. Yeah, that's Unbelievable. Good so that one's a push then? Well, Do you want me to put I'll that? give you that one. You're going to give me yeah, that one? That's a push. Okay, so after two holes, Chris has a win. The second one was a push. It all comes down to the third and final hole to see if one of us can catch up with Chris, who called the win nice. off the first hole. Yeah. So let's see what's going to happen. We'll take a break. We'll come back and play the third and final hole here on the Pro-Am Golf Show. The Coal Creek Golf Resort is designed to amaze. Built on a reclaimed coal mine, black sand bunkers blanket the course while bodies of water mark the site of the original coal pits. The Coal Creek Golf Resort is just 40 minutes from Edmonton and well worth the drive to visit the place consistently rated the best breeds in the Edmonton area. Stay a while in the full service RV park with 50 amp power and city water. Visit ColeCreekGolfResort.com and come play through coal mining history. Cantorque is the fastest company in the bolting business. We power drivers in karting, Grand Am, NASCAR, and even run at over 385 kilometers per hour at the Indy 500. So you know we're fast. But we're not just fast, we're Canadian, and so are our tools. Made in Edmonton, we've taken everything Canadian. Beauty, durability, friendly and polite, and combined them all with our industry-leading speed. Find out more at Cantorque.com. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show. We're here today at the beautiful Coal Creek Golf Resort with 14-year NHL veteran Chris Joseph. You've got a one-hole lead on us going into the third and final hole. You predicted the win at the beginning. Do you still feel that way? Feeling good. Feeling confident. Okay, well, like let's, good. let's see what you're like with the driver in your okay. hand. This is our first <laughs> real test of the day. It comes on the last hole. Let's get to it. You know what they say when the wind's behind you, eh? What do they say? Swing really hard. Swing hard, okay. <laughs> I lost it. It's good. It's heading it's for the going, bunker. Oh, over Just the bunker. Over. Oh, I think you're good there. That I think you're in the out. fairway playing catch up all day. Yep. 
Well, that's good. That's gonna work, I think. A little bit right. Stay left. Sit. Oh. Ooh, it's gonna be a tough second shot. This is her best club. I'm expecting big things then. Oh yeah, that is really good. <laughs> it's hard. Yeah. Stay there. Good job. Great job. Can you get there? No. I think you can get to the trap. Yeah, that's the good. goal. That's, that's not the right direction. That's good. A little oh, bit right. Bad though. No, that'll work. Coming in from that angle? Yeah, I was just taking the bunkers out of play. Smart. Yep. Are you going for the green here? Ah, uh, yes. Can a curler make it there? Well, you're gonna find out. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yes. That looks good. It does look, look good. Look at this shot. Wow. Look at this. Go. Oh, oh. go. Come that on. is awesome. Oh, can a curler make it? Yes, he can. Oh, I That's teed awesome. you up for that one. You did, too. Put a little heat on you. It's not very often that Mark puts that much pressure on us. I'm just kidding. Sometimes you can be clutch. Well, I pushed it right. Oh, a nice divot. Good swing. Good divot. That's really not bad. Yeah, I'll take it. Considering it's a par five. It's not bad. Must make wedge. This should be good, hey? I, yeah, I think you're, just aim for my ball and you'll be fine. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yep, there it is. That's too far. That looks really good. Not far enough. Great shot. That is perfect. You know what sucks? I would have been really happy with that, but Mark yeah. is right there. Yep. This is gonna take some soft mitts. Oh, you're gonna like it. You're gonna love it. That's really good. You're gonna really like it. Oh, I do like that one. It's so soft. Like all the best shots of the season are combined into the first episode. <laughs> it's downhill from <laughs> it's here, folks. It's downhill from here. <laughs> Next shot. Chris, last hole we were talking about the Humboldt Broncos bus crash and how your son tragically passed away in it. Um, there could be a lot of other parents that are going through something similar that you went through this time last year. What message would you want to give to them on how to get through the first year? Oh, it's, there's no, there's no easy way. Um, I, I quickly learned that the hole that was left behind when we lost Jackson is always going to be there. So you got this hole and I, I say the hole is going to be this size forever and I just have to build up some strength around it so that you know you can get by and get through the days um, and by building up strength you, you rely on other people. You really have to rely on other people and as far as advice goes I don't really have any advice. It's I hope nobody ever has to do it, but it does happen and just lean on people because they're there for you, the good people. I love what you said about building up strength around the hole and I wanted to ask you about your other two kids, Brett and Taylor, mm -hmm. and uh, the impact that they've had on you through this process and also how they have adjusted as well. Well, one thing we've found with Brett and Taylor and Andrea and myself is we all lost the same thing. Well, two of us lost a son, two of us lost a sibling. Um, and we're all going through this grieving journey and we're all in different places in this journey. So for us, you, we have to respect where the other person is on that day. And if somebody's a little bit snappy and they want to fight or, you know, they're short, just try to appreciate that maybe today's their kind of angry day. And, you know, so we try to support each other as much as we can. Uh, we've definitely become a lot more clingy Whereas we took family for granted maybe in the past a little bit. We're like, oh, I don't have time for my stupid brothers or whatever. Uh, Taylor might want to spend more time with us. We go out of our way to make more family events um, because we all got a real tough lesson in life. And uh, you think, why weren't we like that before? Um, but we've, we've bonded together. Um, Taylor and Brett are doing a great job. 
Um, they still have their days, just like Andrea and I do. Um, but they're doing a great job, and we're still a, we're still a good, strong family, supporting each other. There's no doubt that you and Andrea raised a great kid, and there were so many stories that came out about Jackson after the fact, and it just spoke to his character and to yours as well. How proud does that make you as a parent to know that you did raise such a great son, and even though he had a shortened life, it was well lived? Very proud. Um, you know, we're extremely happy to talk about Jackson anytime we get a chance, like we are today, and uh, um, to hear people say positive things about him makes us very proud. Um, he was a very fun-loving, easygoing, um, flexible type of kid. But the whole Broncos team had a, a group like that. They were all like that. Darcy Hogan put together a real room full of character kids. And you know, we're cheering every day we, for the 13 survivors as much as we can. We've pretty much adopted them and we told them that we're not going away and they know it and they love it. Um, but yeah, we're a very tight knit group, all of us, and uh, we're very proud of all the kids. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time today to come out golfing with us, share your story, and it was just, it was such a pleasure to have you out here. We do have some putts to finish up here. Yes, we do. Everybody ready for this? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get back nice. to the golf. I don't know if we talk to heckle him right now, or if silence is better. I think the pressure is killing him right now anyways. It's an eagle putt. Don't choke. Oh. Mark! Pressure. What have the you pressure. done? Pressure got to you. You know what that is? But our guest wins. That's a good host right there. You sure. took one for the team. What and I know. Had nothing to do with my total lack of putting skill. Yeah, or the knocking knees standing over that one. Eagle putts. Oh, that's too bad. Okay. It's a birdie, though. That's yeah. still a birdie. That's you still good. You got a kick in bird. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we have other things to be awarded right now. Chris wins the show, but we do have the shot of the show. For that, I've got Ed from the golf cart people here. And hey Ed, out of all those shots that you saw today, which one do you think was the best? Well, there's many, many good shots. I've been uh, lucky to see a few of these things. Your long putt on the first hole. Amazing. Oh, thank you. Didn't go in though. It no. didn't go in. Okay. Uh, your five hybrid or five iron was amazing. Yeah. The eagle putt would have been better, but the <laughs> shot of the day goes to you, Mr. Joseph. That beautiful little putt out of the uh, Oh, the, the winning putt. And bang, you're the winner. Up and thank down you. for Up the win. Down. That's Thanks. a pretty good choice. Yeah. Let's take a look at it now. This is for the win. This is to win the first hole of the season, yeah. Uphill. Make his name as the oh, defenseman Chris he made Joseph. It. He made Seriously? It. He made it. What a putt. <laughs> Nicely done. You can't call him Curtis anymore now. Chris, thank you so much for coming out here today, sharing your story and just being an awesome guest. We really appreciate it. So on behalf of Moosehead, we've got some lager and some cracked canoe for you to enjoy. Excellent. Golf when and beer. Not on shift. Thank you. I'll hold this one for you. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> also nice. on behalf of Century Vision Care, I believe you know Dr. Scott Lopatinsky. Good guy. Free pair of Maui gyms. So oh, all you have to do is head in there, pick out whatever kind you like, pick the most expensive kind for from sure. him and, uh, and you get yourself a new pair of sunglasses, okay? All right, thank you. Thank you so much for coming out. We wanna thank the Coal Creek Golf Resort for having us as well. Beautiful shape, beautiful golf course, definitely worth the trip out to Riley. Thank you for watching. Keep in mind, you can catch us every Sunday right here on Global at 1230. If you miss any of our episodes, they're all online at proamgolfshow.ca. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at proamgolfshow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Are you rolling? Are you? Oh, come on, Pro Am's working. <laughs> this isn't working. What's That's pretty good. Flossing. You got it. You, should, you got to hold it too. If you hit it good, hold the pose. Yeah. yeah.